Hi guys, Steve here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tame a Fasilisuchus. So when this video is helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Now, whoever's told people that you have to ride these things into rocks to tame them has done one of the greatest taming trolls ever because it's completely wrong and you'll waste hours of your life. I'm on times four taming, riding a level 100 Fasilisuchus, not a low level one to try and make out this technique works. And as you can see, every time you hit a rock, it barely makes any difference to your torpor. You might be adding 0.01% to its taming bar. So if you're taming a high level one, you'd literally take all day to tame one. That's why you've all not been able to tame them. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's start from the beginning. You can find the Fasilisuchus in a sandy desert area. They'll walk along the surface attacking anything that comes close to them. Then when they're left alone, they'll bury underground, eventually going down and covering themselves in a pile of sand. So if you don't see them walking along the top, this is what you need to look out for. It's a heavy sleeper, so you need to wake it up with explosives. You can either use a rocket launcher, C4, or a much better and cheaper option is to use grenades. You want to throw the grenades at a pile of sand. I'll do a distance test. That one's a bit too far away. That one's closer. When it explodes, it should wake it up. Now it's seen stars and gone a bit dizzy. So run up to it quickly, get on its back and ride it. You now control the direction of where it goes. In the bottom middle, you'll see two bars. The top green one is how much control you've got over it. So when that bar runs out, it will kick you off. Now you need to get its torpor bar up and knock it out by ramming its head into hard resources. You see, every time I hit a rock, it resets my green control bar time back to full. The only reason you would hit a rock is to daze it slightly so it resets your control meter. You want to avoid rocks as much as you can because it barely adds anything to your torpor bar. You only hit them when your control bar is about to run out. Because as you see, when you hit a rock, it dazes your creature, it does a U-turn and goes out of control for 4 seconds. Usually ramming into other stuff, which repeats going out of control for 4 seconds, so you can't control where it's going, and you're bouncing around like you're in a pinball machine. And as you saw, if a Fasilisuchus hits an unbreakable cliff, it will throw you off, stop your taming and attack you. So you want to avoid cliffs as much as you can. Watch your purple torpor bar at the bottom. The best resource you can ram into is not stone, but metal nodes. I'm not including obsidian or crystal, which is even better, because it's almost impossible to get to. You see what a massive jump hitting metal gave. And again, I got two then. I'm trying to get the other one, but as I said, you lose control for four seconds every time you hit something. So try steer to an empty area. And again. So you could tame it really quickly if you hit a lot of metal nodes. However, on Scorched Earth, there's not many metal nodes close together. They're spread out far and are on different levels of cliffs, which it's just flung itself off from. Plus you've got all the rocks and trees in the way, blocking you from getting to metal. So all the rocks there is a negative that you're trying to avoid instead of you trying to hit. Groups of big bones together can give okay torpor. But like metal, they're few and far between. And it's inconsistent because sometimes when you hit bone, it doesn't give you any torpor. So if you see bone, go for it, but I wouldn't go out my way looking for it. Plus, stay away from rib cages because you can't harvest them and they might dismount you. Because you have to hit hard objects to knock the Fasilisuchus out, I thought, let's try it against stone foundations. It doesn't work and immediately dismounts you. Okay, it's probably not going to work, but let's try metal foundations as well. And same again, it dismounts you. And that's why I have the RG on follow, so when I get dismounted, I can get on it and immediately fly away. If hitting rocks adds a minute amount to your torpor bar, will hitting rock golems do anything? There's one in front of us, and no, you just bounce off. It doesn't even wake up. As you probably know, shooting it with trank darts won't knock it out. It adds nothing to its torpor bar. And trying to knock it on the head with explosives like a golem won't work either. But I had to try all these to make sure. 
So yes, hitting metal is the best to get your torpor bar up. But it's not much of it, it's scattered all around the map, it's normally hard to get to, and there's loads of irritating rocks in the way stopping you from getting to it. And if you find an okay spot like this, it's right next to a cliff so if you hit it, it could throw you off. And the next group of metal is miles away. The only group of metal which I've found that's accessible, and the only area that gives you a chance to tame a Fasilisuchus with metal, plus some bone and a bit of rock, is here on the map on the right hand side. I've managed to tame a level 100 here, there's single metal nodes scattered around, but you're going to have to bounce around a hell of a lot of rock to get to them. Then if you run out of metal, you could come down here, and go up this ramp. And on top you see single metal nodes scattered around, but most of them are right on a cliff edge which is going to make it really tricky, so I'd only come here if I was desperate. So if metal nodes is the best thing to tame it with, but it's such a pain to do it, use the second best option, and that's to tame it with salt. Watch the torpor bar at the bottom. There we go, that's much better, isn't it? Yes, salt does add less torpor than metal, but there are a load of salt at most of the oasis in the sandy desert. There's normally big clumps grouped together, so even though it's slightly less effective than metal, the sheer amount of it more than makes up for it. And because there's hardly any rocks, if any, it's easy to go straight for the salt as you're not bouncing around different rocks. Okay, let's tame a Fasilisuchus for real. This is going to be our end point out in the desert. We're in the bottom left of the map. There's a Wyvern Crack. There's a Manticore Statue. And down here, you find Oasis with salt. More over here. More over here, and it carries on all the way up to the top. To make things easy for you, you might want to mark all these Oasis on the map. Then you could just head directly to them. Otherwise, when you're on the ground, you might not be able to see them due to the height of the sand dunes. Right, you want to bring a flyer, but when the Fasilisuchus throws you off. There's one hiding underground. Stop it following you. This is our starting position on the map, the top middle. There's normally quite a few Fasilisuchus up here. We're going to start from here, go all the way to the left, then down next to the Wyvern Crack. Going to all the oasis with salt as we go. Right, go up to it and throw a grenade up a pile of sand. Whistle your bird to follow you. The grenade explodes, then quickly run and get on the Fasilisuchus. We're heading left. There's some bone there. Let me show you what happens when I get it. Nothing, and very little, as much as a rock. So as you can see, getting bones very inconsistent. Let's look for Oasis. There's one over there. Keep your eye on the green bar, you don't want that to run out. Should be able to make it in time. Right, where's the salt? The only reason you'd ever want to hit a rock is to reset the time on your green control bar. Then once you regain control again, go looking for salt. There it is. Let's grab that. Hopefully it won't push me into the big unbreakable rock. Trying to get all the salt. There we go. If a ledge there is too high and you drop off it, you will be thrown off. At that moment, I'm just being bounced from rock to rock. That just wastes time a bit. You only get a tiny amount of torpor for it. But usually nothing bad can happen as you're out in an open space. Every time I get control back ahead towards the salt, Try and get between that group. Get all of them at once. Right, I think that's everything. Go around the outskirts and have a quick look. A few little bits left. Clearing the rock to get to it.
There we go, got most of it. Should I get that or not? I've cleared most of a rock, let's see if I can. There we go. Right, I think I've got most of it from that oasis. Let's head to the next one. Right, I've got control back. The green bar's slowly going down. Now it's a bit of a distance to get to the next oasis, so stay close to the rocks on the left hand side. As if your green control bar gets too low, you're going to have to go and touch a rock to reset your green bar so you can carry on. I'll cut all the excess travelling time out and just leave all the important stuff in, otherwise the video is going to be really long. I'm going around the corner on the top left hand side of the map. Head into that oasis in the distance. Let's see what we've got. There we go, I see some there. Let's get all that juicy salt. Got most of it. I hit that building, but it didn't dismount me. Okay, I've got control. Let's pick up a bone. Again, that didn't give much. Alright, let's go to the top of a sand dune. See where the next oasis is. There's a dark patch there. You might want to put your render distance onto full so you can see the oasis in the distance. So as we get closer, there's a group of salt. It's nice and relaxing doing this instead of going through all the rocky cliff areas to try and get metal. As you can avoid being a pinball bouncing around in all those rocks. Right, we've cleared this group out. Let's go to the top of a sand dune. Now I've got control back. Let's see where we're going next. There's one over there. Dark area here. Ooh, another big group of it. Nice. This will get my top up a lot. That's where I am on the map. Oh. I forgot to mention, there was an oasis water spring in the ground. When I went over it and I was looking at the map, it throws you off a Phaselosuchus. You see it down there? You want to avoid going over those. When you're thrown off, just get on your bird, fly up in the air, and try and kite it towards a creature so it kills it. You'll lose aggro, then you can re-ride it again. And while you're flying around, you can look out for the next oasis to go to. Right, I kited it away a bit, and a sandstorm came, so I had to put a tent down. It's gone now. It's all safe. Pick the tent up. Now that water spring would be a problem, but to avoid it, put a well down. That'll work as a barrier to stop you getting thrown off. So it's best if you go around and put a well on all the water springs. The Phaselosuchus is over there. Let's land my bird. Stop it from following me. Because when you go in to throw the grenade, if it's on follow, it'll overshoot you, go towards it, grab aggro, and it'll come out of ground so you can't grenade it. What the hell? Why did it throw two grenades? That's a bit sensitive. Just throw one. Go on it quick. Go towards the salt. There's a lot there. Now with a the well there, it should stop me from getting thrown off. So you hit it and just bounced off. Get all the lovely salt. Top of bar's gone up over half now. So this is much, much quicker. You can also get thrown off if you go over empty oil wells. So you might want to go around capping those, as there's a few oil well spots in the metal area. Just getting over salt. Get a bone. And the last lot of salt. More bones. There we go, cleared that off. 
Got control again. See palm trees over there. Green bar's okay, should be able to make it. Let's see what we have over here. There's some. Let's get more salt. Got that. There's a little bit next to the building. I'll risk it. Hopefully it doesn't throw me off. Hitting trees is useless. Oh, I went inside the building. Well, it was worth it to go extra salt. Get on your bird again. Oh, overshot it. Come on. If you run, you're a lot faster than it, so you can outrun it. Get on your bird. Go up in the air. Drag it to a creature so you can lose aggro. Then have a look where the next oasis is. Let's get back onto it. Throw the grenade. Call the bird to follow you. Get on it. Alright, let's go around the back. There's some salt. There's one bit left, but I'm not risking getting thrown off of that. Let's go to the other oasis. Right, where is it? There's a dark area. There we are. Salt and a bit of bone. But we're just after the salt. Keep an eye on the bottom torpor bar. So it didn't go up at all then when I got a big bone. Let's just get all the salt. Nothing's going to throw me off. One big bit left. It went through the bones anyway when I couldn't control it. That's cleared. Let's go to the next oasis. Right, it's in the distance, so I'm going to go to the left. That's where we are on the map now. I'll stay to the left just so I can hit a rock. And reset my green control bar. Oh, it's pushing me to the side. I don't want to go left. Get me out of here. Hit that cliff, but luckily I didn't get dismounted. Head out towards the sand. Let's go to the top of that dune. There's another oasis. Right, you get the basics of what you need to do. So I'm going to quickly skip to all the oasis to show you what you get from them. And to the last one where we knock it out and start taming it. The next oasis doesn't have any salt, so just hit a rock to refresh your control bar. The next oasis is a group of salt at the side. The next one doesn't have salt, but luckily there's a couple of rocks to reset my control bar. My top is nearly filled up, so when I get to this oasis and get this salt, it'll knock out my fast lasukas. And there we go, we've got his torpor bar filled up, and we've finally knocked it out. That's the hard part done. If you needed any more salt, there's a few more oasis south that you can go to. Now go around and kill any creatures, because you need to protect it. And now you're just waiting for it to get hungry so you can feed it some food. Land of a birdie. Its torpor goes down slowly. It likes exceptional kibble. Or you could give it extraordinary kibble, one above it. Or mutton if you don't have any kibble. So all we've got to do now is wait for it to eat it. It's not been long and the top has gone down a bit. There we go, it's eating the first one. And as you can see the taming bars jumped up a lot. But remember I'm on times 4 taming. So it might be different compared to what rate your server's on. Stay on guard, make sure nothing attacks you and just wait for it to get hungry again. If its torpor bar ever got low, 
You can feed it narcotics like every other team to keep it knocked out. Just waiting for it to eat one more. And there we go, we've tamed it. Now we've got a big mean looking lizard. I'll bring it out of the shade so you can have a proper look at it. Right, you can unlock the saddle at level 70 and you don't need to buy Bob's Tall Tales DLC to tame it or make the saddle. Right, I've put a saddle on it, so let's quickly test it out. When you bite a creature, you do a corrosive bite that stacks up to 10 times and that lowers your target's damage resistance so you can hurt it more. So this thing should be really good against bigger creatures. As you've seen, it's slow above ground, but it's really fast when it's buried in the sand. You press space to go underground Keep an eye on your stamina bar, because your stamina goes down as you're doing this. And while you're buried in the sand, you seem invisible to the wild creatures around you. If you press the right mouse button, you'll come up a bit and go around in a circle. If a creature you're aiming for doesn't walk out of the area, the sandstorm mechanic allows you to trap and damage your target. So let's try and get it to work against the Rex. While you're underground, press the right mouse button. You get an icon in the middle bottom pop up. When that turns yellow, press the mouse button, the icon will go red, and the creature will sink into the sand. Now if you're bitten too much, your target creature will break out of it. But if you manage to do it, which is a bit tricky, it'll hold it underground for a while and then pop up to huge damage. All right, it's under now. Must be suffocating. There it's popped up and it's bleeding heavily now. And it's not too happy with me. And because you've been going around in circles for a while, you're dizzy and stunned for a few seconds. While you're above ground, if you press the right mouse button, it'll do a tail whip. And if you hit the target, it'll break it out of combat and run off. So if you do it right, you can get it not to attack you. When you go underground and hit rocks, you'll gather flint. Please like and subscribe if this video is helpful and share it with your friends if you think it'll help them out. Click the bell notifications in order to get notified when I upload next. Check out the links below if you want to join Patreon and buy anything from a merch store or rent a server. Thank you very much for watching and I'll link other videos at the end. Goodbye.